A while back, my sister was telling me about a test she had just taken. She thought it was going okay, but hadn't taken a test in a while, and forgot to transfer her answers from her test booklet to the actual scan sheet to calculate her score. Because of this, she had to guess randomly on the answer. This prompted a discussion between us about what method she used to go about guessing the answers. I told her she should have guessed the same letter over and over again, as that was more logical from my perspective at the time. She opted to choose some different letters over and over again, as opposed to doing my strategy. I decided that I would write a short code to see if this truly matters. I have just begun coding, so I use Visual Basic to write the code. In my code, I had a loop that ran through 100 random number generation rolls of 1 through 4, 1 being A, 2 being B, 3 being C, and 4 being D. After each roll, the code rolls for a different RNG variable. This variable is used to represent our random guesser, who is taking our test selecting A, B, C, and D randomly. The code then combines all the information to tell the user what the outcome was. I don't know why this is the case, but the numbers 1 through 5 are interpreted by Visual Basic as 1, 2, 3, and 4. I'm guessing this has something to do with one of them being mixed up with 0, which equals nothing in computer terminology often, but I don't know the real answer. I also had to have the second RNG generator generate one random number before it got used, because computers do not really generate numbers randomly. They have databases of numbers in random orders stored, and then pull from those databases to give the user a number they perceive as random. As you can see, if I comment out one line of code, somehow our student randomly guesses the letter choice correctly every time. The outcomes were fairly normal. No numbers were shockingly high or low, like single letters being selected less than 10 times or more than 40 times, and honestly, the person randomly guessing was having roughly the same results as the rest of the people that just selected the same letter over and over again. So, to confirm this idea that this was not a significant difference, I surrounded my initial loop in a loop to really get a larger sample to see if everything holds true. Not shockingly, math prevailed, and every strategy of guessing in different fashions produced roughly the same 25% result. This did not surprise me. The reason I made this code was more to check to see if the range of percentages you could receive by consistently guessing different numbers um, would actually be a larger range than the numbers of just guessing the same letter over and over again. But I don't want to leave this video off on that note. If you truly just need to guess answers on a test, what should you do? According to Lemongrad.com, unlike what some people want to think that C is the most common answer choice, like some of my friends would tell me that C is the most common answer choice, it turns out that teachers most often put B as the correct answer choice roughly 28% of the time. And a bonus note in that is that if you're going with true or false questions, teachers are more likely to put true than false, being 56% of the time. The problem with this concept nowadays is that test questions and answer orders are randomized by computers and evenly distributed in terms of correct answers per letter option on almost all standardized tests. So unless your teacher is still going all in on producing full tests themselves with no additional software assistance past Microsoft Word, then it looks like guessing is pretty even no matter what strategy you guess with. A better option is probably just to try to learn the material. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.